What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. I am in an interesting space right now because as you can see it is pretty tight in here. While we were gone in North Carolina our fender flare showed up and something else I don't really know what's in those boxes so let's go check and see what that is. Today we're gonna to be continuing the build on the Banana Ram. We've got so much to do, so little time and space. I apologize for the delay on this video, um, how there was no like Sunday video, but while I was in North Carolina, I sat down and just thought and thought about some things and I wanna give you guys the best possible content and hopefully soon uh, the whole shop and new, new home, new place, everything will commence but in the meantime we've got a lot to do to not only the banana ram the eco diesel and I've come to the conclusion that nothing that is sitting in the driveway can or really should be driven in the snow so you guys can see my dilemma I now have nothing I can really drive in the snow because Obviously, you put all that work into a uh, six, seven lime, you don't wanna get all that powder coating, everything all rusted up. The Banana Ram has never seen salt one time, and I'm not changing that now. Eco Diesel still needs brakes, and obviously, the reason why I'm saying this is because we're having about 13 inches of snow come tonight, which is projected. And obviously, the Hellcat ain't going anywhere in the snow, and the Tahoe is going to one of you guys, all of which, I have no transportation in the snow. So Katie and I did a whole bunch of stuff today, got it all done, so we don't have to drive anywhere tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> I know what that is. But that's a special announcement for another video. But anyway, today we're gonna be tackling our headlights for the Banana Ram, and also, um, depending on how late we get those headlights open and stuff, I may very well try and, well, paint them tonight but also get those factory headlight moldings out so we can paint those, put it all back together at once, and then only thing we have left on the front end really are um, is the bumper. And with the bumper and bumpers being painted, that will complete our front end. And now I will say I still haven't decided on fog lights whether I wanna do factory, aftermarket, and as for the rear bumper and the front bumper, both are gonna take their own day of painting because Yes, we are painting the bumper plastics also uh, to match that detonator yellow paint because why not? Which, in that time, can also include the painting of the plastic fender flares. So all of that coming to a video very soon. So obviously we are gonna take care of our headlights today. Also, probably gonna do our third brake light as well. But like I said, there's a reason we're not doing the tails, and that's because we don't have any clear lenses yet. But other than that, our parts living room here is not getting any more empty at the moment. So like I said, two bumpers are gonna get painted soon, and almost the full color match will be complete. We're gonna do the handles and uh, working out something special with the mirrors as well. So now one of the first things we have to do I know a lot of you guys wanted a full instructional video on how to do these headlights. Um, so I'm gonna mix the full instructional with the uh, more content kind of compaction here. So you're getting full content and kind of an instructional video at the same time. So first things first, get an oven. This is what we use for powder coating. And we also use this oven for just headlights and stuff. Get one, obviously you can see purple powder coat in here, but get one that you won't be worried about or you don't need to cook in any more Facebook or Craigslist or a buddy or whoever, um, pick yourself up an oven that works and use it solely for automotive uses. But here we're gonna go. I'm gonna set this actually at, um, let's go with 235. Some people use 220. I found last time I did a set of the headlights that Permaseal wasn't really letting up easily. So I'm gonna crank the temperature up, go just a hair longer, uh, and then we should be able to peel them a lot easier. The thing I don't want to do, which sucks prior to installation, is you're going to have to remove this plastic. You put this plastic in the oven, uh, you're never getting it off the lens. So. Once you take this off, be careful because anything you set this on or, or, or nick this with, you will see scratches on here and you don't want that. This is gonna bake for 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, you heard me right. You're gonna bake your headlight for 15 to 20 minutes. There's only enough room for about one headlight to fit in there at a time, so kinda sucks. And then the permaseal will be really, really soft and we will act quickly and peel it apart.
guys, well these things were being difficult. We went, bumped the oven up to 275 for seven minutes after I kind of messed with it for a bit there. What I see online, and pretty much don't worry if the plastic deforms, because when you put it back in the oven and seal it back up, um, once it's out here, you'll be able to form it, and when it cools, it'll form right back to its exact factory shape. But yeah, you just kind of go at it and get it just apart like this. We're gonna throw the other one in the oven in a second here, and then I'll show you how to go about taking all of this apart. you guys a few things especially with these alpha rex headlights um the ones with these kind of crazy projectors in here so what we're dealing with is obviously our headlights themselves are bolted to this mounting bracket now getting this mounting bra bracket out is pretty difficult there's one mount tucked all the way back down up and in there that is just more pain in the butt to get out than uh worth your time so what i ended up doing over here um, I actually would probably be benefit better with a 90 degree <laughs> Phillips, but we ended up getting this swingy dingy thingy and uh, getting an adapter from a 3 8 to a quarter uh, put in a socket that holds a drill bit <laughs> and that was enough to swing up in there kind of curve like so and unscrew the last screw that got the bezel that goes around them out. Say much more than I mutilated this. Um, this I reheated it a couple times. This plastic is interesting. It's not. It's like hard plastic, but it's not at the same time. Um, we may have to go with the recon that might actually have a more rigid plastic uh, backing that can handle what we're doing. So, guys, the first snow is uh, here. As we were tearing those headlights apart, look at what came our way. Um, Let's see too. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is like perfect snowball snow. So what I was gonna do, just like last time, is pull Katie's truck out. As you can see, the weather is not exactly permitting at the moment. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take her hood inside, take the wheels inside, and then I'll give myself this little square corner here to uh, work with. Alright guys, well we got the garage all toasty and we just actually used our fender flare box. Honestly, it was the perfect size to paint everything on, so that's what we're gonna do. I have a pallet out back, but it's way too wide and uh, would take up too much space for this little area we have here. I honestly would keep going, spray this, and uh, get it all set up. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that dry up, let these sit, and in the morning come out here. And it's kind of a simple process after that. We'll do our sealer, we'll do our color, 
we'll do our clear and I'm hoping to get these all back into the headlights. We can get those reassembled, put back together and weather depending, maybe even get them on the truck. So but like I said, guys, even in this situation here, look at what we're dealing with. Almost all the obstacles in the world against you. And then you add other things like the weather and not being able to pull this truck out. No matter what your restrictions or limits may be, you can build something amazing. However, we're gonna let these dry up. I'm gonna catch, well now that it's three in the morning, 2.55, so now that it's like 2.55, I'm gonna go get like three hours of sleep, come back out here, and we'll get the painting. I'll catch you guys in the morning. All right guys, well it's the next morning here, and like I said last night, we had a lot of snow coming. I did not exactly expect this much snow look at the look at this i wish i had a tape measure right now the bed line uh the top of the bed is right there that's the top of the bed <laughs> coming over here look at the banana ram six seven line look at our hellcat back here moose gang over here i can't believe this literally santa came and everything this is nuts guys I, i'm just i'm in awe right now because this is a lot of snow well guys we made a lot of progress last night on those headlights it took us a couple some hours to get those um things split open but we have them apart now they're over there we spent a lot of time sanding last night as well a couple hours getting those perfect now i don't know if some people sit there and they open these headlights up and they don't sand them but i don't want to have paint peel off within the headlight and i can't fix it without opening up so i just go through that process and sand it off i'm gonna mix up some i'm gonna mix up some sealer and some color and we're gonna start spraying super good i went and threw a second coat on there after that touch it up in a few areas for a third headlight pieces look so so good i honestly cannot cannot say better things this is about the third time using this iowata gun i know some of you were complaining about this this is the only mask i had one of you actually sent it to me to my p.o box so thank you for that but um but this is like my third time using that iowata and let me tell you guys that the gun has a huge rule and how your paint lays as well obviously clean air good filtration good water separation and then obviously setting the gun up right but the way the gun atomizes the paint sealer clear huge huge effect on how the paint lays because let me tell you this again is a stellar stellar paint job laid better than factory almost and i just can't say better things but yeah we're gonna wait for those to flash up and then uh We'll get to the clear. All right, boys, we got the clear mixed up. Let's take her home.
so good, guys. Can, <laughs> I can't wait. All right, guys. Well, we're going to have these setting up here. Honestly, just going to let these sit overnight. Um, I really want all the clear to harden the way it needs, um, especially when you're going back into the headlight housing and these will never be touched again. So just want to get it in there and it'll get a little bake cycle tomorrow when we put it back together. Oh yeah. It just literally laid so, so well. <laughs> oh, I am, I'm sorry, but I'm just thrilled with how this turned out. Well guys, boom, banana ram and it's new headlights chilling right here. Can't wait to get these back together. Can't wait to get these on the truck. It's really, really going to help us. Um, obviously, we're going to get rid of those halogen bulbs and uh, give us more brightness and obviously a better look overall. guys that's actually going to do it for today's video i really want to get these back and reassembled however i just want to show you guys and be real with you that it's going to take a couple hours for this to cure a uh, little bit for us to add our customization to it obviously we got to reseal bake reassemble them so that's going to take a lot of time and uh, honestly like i said being real being honest with you real project i'm not trying to like make it seem like it's quick fast and easy i'm just making and giving it to you how it is <laughs> it takes time it takes effort especially if you're opening headlights for the first time which <laughs> few of you may want to after this um I, I, it's gonna take a little bit of time to fidget and fiddle with things you'll probably break things don't worry they can always be fixed i'm honestly saying that you know it takes time be patient um and you'll have amazing results don't rush anything i've done that so many times in my life i mean a lot younger i would rush things just because i want them done and you spend more time fixing them than you would have spent the extra little bit of time to make it right in the first place. So um, just be patient. That's what I'm doing here. Well, guys, a lot more stuff coming this week for the banana ram. It's supposed to be warmer the next two days. So hopefully all this melts, which kind of sucks. It is quite, quite beautiful. As you can see, winter wonderland, really. A lot of you are jealous out there. I know that's why I'm standing in the driveway right now, kind of showing it off to you guys because look at this. Oh, it's nuts. Look, seriously, so much snow has fallen today. The banana ram, a lot of stuff coming. Obviously, we still got to do those bumpers that may be next. We got to wait on a day to get Katie's truck out of the garage. So, well, we can do the power stop brakes on the Eco Diesel. And also on the Eco Diesel, we have a pedal monster for that, too. We're going to uh, swap the pedal commander to the pedal monster. So we'll be doing that. Um, a lot of stuff coming for this. A lot of you said orange, and I'm 100% game for that. Um, only thing is, I may add a slight twist to it because of what I'm actually doing with this truck. So I may add a little twist to that. Um, I don't know if it'll work in my favor or not. That's coming soon, but again, we're gonna need a day where we can rearrange some things, uh, pull Katie's truck out for a little bit, <laughs> put the Eco Diesel in, get the brakes done. I don't know how tall or low we're going with on this Eco Diesel, but we're working on that as well. Just like I said in general, we got a lot of stuff coming for this. Um, but it, it, again, look at what I'm dealing with. Uh, it does suck. And I am very, very, very intrigued and looking for one, more land, more property, and also a shop. So all that's coming very soon because frankly, I can't do much in this. <laughs> and um, can't do much in here either so we're gonna make it happen soon i just want to say thank you guys for watching thank you for your support if you haven't been here before please get on there click subscribe if you enjoyed this video shoot a thumbs up tap that notification bell and click all and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video peace y'all